Hello. This week I've got a fun craft for you where you can make your own catapult. Don't worry, it's not as scary as it sounds. You'll only be firing screwed up little bits of paper or even mini marshmallows if you've got some lying around. That's quite fun. All you'll need is some lolly sticks. If you've got some, some of the bigger ones, you need a couple of those or you can just use all little ones. You'll need some of those as well and some rubber bands and a bottle lid, anything at all from a bottle of squash or a milk bottle lid, any plastic lid will be fine. First of all, if you take your pile of little lolly sticks, you just need to secure them at each end with a rubber band. So you can make them into a pile. And secure them each end with a rubber band so you end up with that. You're now going to take your two bigger lolly sticks and place them over like that so it looks a little bit like an aeroplane. And you're then going to, the first thing you need to do is to secure the middle of your catapult with a rubber band so you might need depending on um, depending on how big your rubber bands are. I need another one to stop it going. Wonky. Okay. And then finally you need to take one end of the fat lolly sticks and secure them together as well. Okay so you can see how your catapult is taking shape and then finally you need a bottle lid and I've used a glue dot but you could use some Pritt stick or some gloopy glue if you have some or even sellotape would work and there you have it your finished catapult and then you can take your screwed up piece of paper and pop it in the lid press down and it will fire and you have fun playing with those now Making a catapult reminded me of a story in the Bible set a very long time ago when a young boy called David, he was a shepherd and in those days people didn't really think very much of shepherds. He was very small and people thought he was really weak. But he went about and did his day-to-day -day job and he believed in God. And when there was a call for somebody to fight a giant from an enemy army, then he said he would do it. Everybody laughed. So he would never be able to defeat somebody so big. He was just small and weak and didn't count for very much. But he said no, he had God with him and he believed he could do it. So off he went and I'm certain everybody watching must have thought that that would be the end of him. He collected five small stones and put them in his pocket and all he had was a little slingshot, a little bit like the catapult we just made, although not quite the same. He put one stone in that slingshot and fired it at Goliath the giant and in that one shot he made the giant fall down and that was the end of the battle. Maybe we can think of the problems and challenges we face like that. They may seem enormous, overwhelming and sometimes even insurmountable but with God by our side we can face them and he will be with us. Maybe for some of you at the moment it's going back to school <laughs> or worrying about COVID getting worse again, or returning to work, or letting your children go back to school, and all sorts of other things. God can bring our problems and challenges down to size, just like David brought Goliath down to size, if we trust him and lean on him. How are you feeling about the things that you're facing at the moment? As people head back to school this week, we're especially thinking of all of you and hoping and praying that it can be a positive experience. It's been a long time since we were there. And often worrying about these things can start to feel enormous inside our heads. I really pray that this week you would be able to remember the story of Goliath and whatever your beliefs, you would be able to trust that the problems and challenges you face can be overcome with the strength from God, the love and support of those around us and from a belief in ourselves as loved and valued. God bless.